I started playing guitar when I was six or seven years old. I've always been into music. Uh, my family's very musical. I have an aunt in the uh, Houston Metropolitan Opera. My mother played clarinet, school band. My dad sang in choir. Yeah, so there's a lot of music in my family. My father listened to Pink Floyd and Robin Trower, and I knew about Robin Trower before I knew about Hendrix, just because my dad was such a fan. That had a lot to do with who I am now and the music that I make. My dad had a great respect for the art. I was taught by uh, Randall Whitener. Uh, everybody knew him in town as Fuzzy. And he was very strict, but very, very uh, good as far as a teacher goes. And he took me under his wing and gave me a job uh, whenever I was 11 or 12. He trusted me to be the rhythm guitar player in his band. That was a big deal for me because it was actual work and it made me feel like an actual musician. We went out for about two years and played around Texas and we played a lot in Mejia and Waco, of course, Canna Ennis. And I kind of got my foot in the door and then eventually, after a year or so, he let me do some solos. But once again, he was very strict. Um, you know, I couldn't use more than two pedals. I could have a TS9 overdrive and he eventually let me get a wah pedal, but it had to be a Vox. If I used it too much, he let me know, which was very good because it gave me discipline and not, not going overboard with toys. Dolphin is the fifth album out of all my albums. And I've put out stuff that I like and, and stuff that, that wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Really Dolphin, I can accept it because I made it at my house by myself and I have nobody to blame for any mistakes that are in it. You know, uh, I guess it might be a little egotistical to do everything yourself, but for me it's just, you know, that's the easiest way to do things. And I didn't do it all by myself. I mean, Mike Gage was a huge uh, part of this record. He helped me learn. For one thing, he taught me the craft uh, for the most part. I mean, him and Garen Walker a real, and, and Fuzzy Whitener taught me how to record things. But Mike Gage, whenever I was in the studio with him, taught me all about digital recording and editing and precision and tuning and a certain amount of perfection uh, which Gage always gets in all of his recordings. Mike Gage also played two tracks on the record. He played drums on Bullets and Save Your Lies. So fortunately, very fortunately, we were able to get him on the record and he's, like I said, a big part of the record. Shades of the Truth is the first track and uh, it's instrumental. It was originally done for someone else. Uh, Danny Owen, a uh, producer friend of mine, had an album that he was doing and he wanted me to do some work for it. And you know, things happened that album didn't quite materialize in the fashion that it was expected to, but I had this track that I had done for it. And uh, seeing he didn't have a project for it anymore, I decided to keep it. And, uh, and it's a good intro to the second song, which is The Fall. It was originally supposed to be two songs, but I, I wanted to split it up that way. If you wanted to start listening to the heavier stuff, you could. And it is he heavier, you know. Uh, the Fall is pretty influenced by, uh, you know, prog rock. And uh, I won't go into what it's about, but let's just say that it is, every song on this album is personal. I just won't tell you what about because it's that's rude because if I told you what they're all about I might piss some people off and I'd rather not do that but I will tell you that I'm not an aggressive person I don't like confrontation but I do write songs and uh, it's a great way to get my thoughts out without actually letting people know what I'm talking about